Hey Joe, it's folks here. If you're watching this video, odds are you clicked it because you want to see a profitable print on demand product that you can sell on your store. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I even have a sample of this product from the print on demand supplier so that way I can break it down for you and show you the quality of it as well. During today's video, we will be focusing on looking at an actual print on demand store that is selling this product. And I will even be showing you one of the most unique marketing strategies I've ever seen that they are currently using. As always, drop a like on the video for good luck and if you want to see some of the other products that I recommend you to try to sell make sure to check out some of my other videos here on my channel and if you want to go through some step-by-step -step training to begin opening your own print-on-demand store make sure to check out my course there is a link down in the description the best part is it is completely free and inside you'll get access to about 30 step-by-step -step videos now don't get me wrong today's product is super cool these are print-on-demand skateboards they are actually super super profitable. We're going to take a look, like I said, at the supplier that has them as well as a store that is currently trying to sell them. One thing that I quickly wanted to say as I am laying here on the floor with them is that this product is not for every niche, meaning sometimes your niche might not actually want to buy a set of skateboards like this. So as you're watching this, keep that in mind. So here is the store. It's called skateboardartsy.com. They describe themselves as having decks that people People can skate with or hang on the wall and if we scroll through you can see that they offer a single deck option as well as a three piece and even a five piece now the print on demand supplier that we're gonna look at today has these available to us in those types of sets meaning when you are adding the product to your store through the print on demand supplier that we're gonna look at you can choose to sell either a single a triple or a five piece skateboard set. Now what is really awesome about the print on demand supplier is that they have given us some really amazing mock-ups to use to actually begin to try and sell this product. You can see here that there is a really high quality image that is sort of a close-up of the product as well as some more close-ups of the product actually on the wall so that way customers can get a sense of what this product actually looks like. The key thing here that I want you to pay attention to is the selling price. You can see here that they are selling this set for $249.99, which means this is a very expensive and a very profitable product for us. Before we break down the supplier and the quality of the product, we'll just take a quick look here at the store. I think they've done a really awesome job at showing us exactly what the product is all about. I also think they have some pretty nice artwork on here. One thing that I did notice is up in their menu at the top, it looks like they have some famous artists listed uh, in their menu. So I'm not 100% sure if these products are actually legal for them to sell, meaning do they actually have the right to sell uh, this art from these artists? Either way, I think they've done a great job with the store and the branding, and overall, uh, I think that they are probably selling some of these products. I just question uh, whether or not they actually have the rights to actually sell stuff like this as their designs. Now here on the store's Instagram, you can see that they have almost 4,000 followers, which means that they are likely getting some decent traffic to their store. Essentially what they're doing is something that I show often here on my channel is they are posting lots of different content, various memes and images and videos relating to their niche in order to grow their following and to get engagement on their account. But you can see the entire middle row is showing their products, basically driving people to their site. If we click on one of these products, you will likely see that they are telling you to go and buy it. You can see here it says available in our shop, link in bio. Now, I'm not sure if you saw this, but they actually have a Mickey Mouse skateboard here, and this kind of goes with what I was talking about before, where I'm not sure if this store actually has the rights to sell a lot of this artwork. If you're curious about copyrights and trademark and you want to hear uh, my take on it and sort of some of the research that I've done personally when it comes to avoiding things that are trademarked, make sure to check out this video right here on my channel where I talk a little bit more about the subject. Now, one of the things that they are doing that I think is awesome, earlier I talked about that they are doing a unique marketing strategy that I have not really seen before. And you can see right in their bio, they are telling people to DM them for a special discount. I would imagine that a lot of people are actually shooting them a message asking for this discount, which means they are likely generating some sales by putting that inside of the bio. Just a quick tip there if you are looking for a way to get more sales. All right 
everyone. So let's talk quality of these skateboards. Now, admittedly, these are skateboards that I have had for a while. You can see here that the design on it says the POD Pod with Joe Robert. This was a, uh, can uh, a skateboard set that I got made a few years ago. I recently, oh well, not recently, but years ago, I had a print-on-demand podcast. It was very short-lived, and this was uh, the product that I was going to use to promote it, and I had it hanging on the wall behind me. Uh, I don't run that podcast anymore, so now uh, these uh, skateboards usually just reside over there on my bookshelf, uh, but I wanted to review them for you today. And like I said, admittedly, I've had them for a while, so they do have uh, some scratches on them because they've sort of been banged around. We brought them with us when we moved. I brought them with me when I used to rent an office, and now I'm here in my basement in this office, so they've been moved around quite a bit. But overall, uh, these are your regular skateboard. These are made out of wood. You can see here, uh, if I try to get this to focus on the side, not sure if it will or not, you can see that it is uh, a standard skateboard. Uh, these holes here can either be used for skateboard wheels, so if you uh, have someone who does want to put wheels on them, they totally can. There is no grip tape on here. This is just you know, smooth wood, so they wouldn't actually have the grip tape like a standard skateboard, but they could put their own wheels on it. However, for us, as print-on-demand sellers, those holes are going to be what they are going to use to hang the product. In a few minutes, when we take a look at the print-on-demand supplier, I will show you what the supplier actually sends, so that way people can mount it. Originally, I received brackets that would go in here, uh, and that's what is used to hang these on the wall. Print-on-demand company sends you uh, brackets for you to hang them on the wall. I just don't have them anymore because, like I said, I ordered these years ago, uh, and I don't know where uh, they are, if I'm being honest. But uh, you're customers are going to receive this and it's going to be something that is designed to hang on the wall. Overall, they are super high quality. It is solid wood. They also have pretty good uh, design capabilities on them. You can see uh, these really subtle little boxes uh, that were able to be picked up inside of the graphic design file. When I had ordered them, I wasn't sure if that was actually going to carry over or not. And overall, these boards are super nice, and I think that totally uh, justifies the high price of them, uh, both for us as print-on-demand sellers, as well as the people that we are trying to sell them to. One thing that is really nice is the print-on-demand supplier that has these actually gives us this video here that we can use on our store. And you can see here in the video, they are showing the process of actually making the skateboards. You can see uh, the people inside of the factory that are kind of putting them together. You can see them drilling holes in them and smoothing them. And something like this could be something that you actually put your logo on and add this to your store. This could help you to seem more professional and ultimately sell more skateboards. The print-on-demand company that has these skateboards is called WC Fulfillment. You can see here that I am on the listing page for the single board. Uh, you can see here that this is the page for the 3X board. So if you wanted to sell a set of three, uh, you would want to add this one to your store. And then here is the set of five. Like I said before, they offer some really awesome branding videos. We can check this one out here as well to see uh, what it is like. And again, if you were to download this video, and put your logo on it and add it to your site, this could be a great way for you to brand what it is you are doing and make your store seem just a little bit more professional. In addition to the awesome videos, like I said before, they also have some really great mock-ups. So here inside of the mock-ups, you can see that the skateboards are presented in numerous different background settings to just give a really great aesthetic when it comes to promoting these products. You can even see on this one here uh, that they do show the mounting hardware. It basically is two pieces of plastic that get screwed into the back of the board, and then those pieces of plastic also get screwed in to the wall to hold the skateboard onto the wall. You can see an image of that uh, here. Overall, like I said, these are a great product. There's a lot of awesome resources in here for us to be able to sell them, and I think one of the most important things that we want to talk about today is the actual profitability of these products. You can see here that the 5X skateboard set uh, is going to cost you 
you $249, which means you are actually paying the print on demand company $249.99 for the set of five. You can see here that the cost for a three piece set is $149.99. And then a single board costs us $54.99. If we come back and look at this store here, we can see that the single board, they are selling it for $159, which means if they are paying $54.99 for it and they are actually making sales on it, that their raw profit before any of their other expenses would be over $100. You can see here that the three piece set, they are selling for $325. This is something that sells for $149 inside of the app. So again, they are making over $150 on profit on, on this one. Uh, that's before, again, any other expenses. Every time I talk about profit, there's always someone in the comments that says, well, Joe, what about taxes? What about Shopify fees? What about whatever, you know, and I'm just talking about raw profit numbers here, just to keep it simple here on a YouTube video. If we scroll down, you can see that the five piece uh, is being sold at 249. So I'm not sure if this is an error or not, uh, because that is actually what it costs. So I'm not sure if this store uh, is making an error. Maybe this store is not open. That's kind of odd because uh, this says $249. And if we look at WC Fulfillment, uh, the five set costs 249. So that's a little bit interesting. Uh, I wonder why they did that. Uh, because their three piece set costs 325, which is more expensive than the five piece. So uh, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Maybe uh, it's an error. Maybe they are sourcing the five piece from a different supplier. I'm not sure. All of the mock-ups look like they are from WC Fulfillment. You can see this mock-up right here uh, is the same exact mock-up as this one. If we scroll down, uh, this guy here with the gray couch with the tan pillows is the same mock-up that we see right there. So not really sure what is going on there. Uh, if it's an error, uh, hopefully it's an error that they are going to correct soon. Or maybe this store is isn't actually opened yet. I just found this store during my research. Oftentimes I am looking for print on demand stores and you know, looking at social media pages and things like that. And I stumbled across this store. I knew that I had the skateboard samples and I thought this would be a really cool video to make uh, and I wanted to make it. So I'm not really sure what this store is, is doing if they're open or not, but that's an interesting little find that we just uh, stumbled across here with the price. They're selling this for 249, but if we look at the print on demand company, uh, that's how much it actually cost them $249. So they're technically going to be breaking even on that sale. Just to quickly reference uh, another place for some pricing, we can see here on Etsy uh, that we see very similar pricing to the store uh, that we looked at. We can see this uh, single board right here uh, is being priced at $134.97. And again, uh, if we look here inside of the print on demand company, WC Fulfillment costs $54.99, which means again, that Etsy shop is making a decent amount of profit on there. We can see similar pricing uh, with some of the three piece sets. This one here is priced at three. $314. And if we remember back, that one is uh, something that costs us $149 through the print on demand company. I don't see any five piece sets on here. Uh, I would assume because this is Etsy that some of these are probably not actual print on demand products and that some of them might actually be uh, someone that is hand making these boards. I'm seeing some images that have a different mounting hardware than what we were seeing inside of the print on demand app, but some of them do seem to be uh, very similar mock-ups to what WC Fulfillment has uh, available to us. And again, I just wanted to pull Etsy up to show you that the pricing is indeed consistent, meaning people are uh, getting over $100 uh, for skateboards. If we click into this, maybe we can see uh, if they have any reviews. And we can see here in their uh, in their review section here that they do have uh, some reviews. All four of these ones here are from, you know, within the last couple of months. A couple of them are from a few weeks ago. Um, so it does seem like they are actually selling them at this price, which means if you wanted to add this product to your store, it could certainly end up being something that sells. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are skateboard, wall art, print on demand products something that you would consider selling or is it even something that you think your niche would be interested in? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, if you got value out of this video, make sure to drop a like on it for good luck. I try my best here to show you some of the best print on demand products that you could sell on your Shopify store. And if you wanna see some of the other products that I've reviewed recently, make sure to check out some of my other videos. As 
as always, thank you guys for watching. My name is Joe Robert, and I will see you in the next video.